At Imperial College, one of London's top universities, scientists have been using CT scanners to learn more about the early ancestors of the modern spider and look at them in more detail than ever before. Researcher Russell Garwood has created lifelike images of two of these creatures, the Cryptomartis and Eophanus, which grew to up to four centimetres in length and mostly lived on the forest floor. For centuries, uh, paleontologists have been working on rocks by splitting them open and looking at the fossil uh, within um, on a two-dimensional transect across it. Basically, when you crack it open, you, you report what you see on the surface. But there are quite a few uh, three-dimensional fossils preserved, especially from the period I'm working on. So uh, my supervisor um, invented a, a computer-based technique to actually be able to see these in 3D about uh, five or six years ago. And so we decided for this project it would be really exciting to uh, apply this technique to these fossils of this age when they, they are quite often three-dimensional and see what uh, additional information we could get out using cutting-edge computer science and mixing it with traditional paleontology. The scanner is similar to devices used in hospitals and took around 3,000 x-ray photos of each fossil. These were then compiled into precise 3D models using custom-made software. The creatures are close relatives to spiders but with one key difference. They don't make silk. Instead, they lived on the forest floor eating other insects and even fellow spiders. One was called Cryptomartis, and that was probably an ambush predator. Its front limbs were rotated around and held in front of it so it could grab prey. That allowed it probably to, leave it, to live in uh, tree trunks and, and leave, lead a fairly sheltered mode of life. The other one, called Eophanus, was very, very spiny, which is probably a defensive adaptation. So it was a less energy efficient meal for any predators that were out there. So uh, at a time of increasing strain, when these uh, w were about to go extinct, um, one responded by being an ambush predator and being able to hide most of the time in safe places. The other responded by uh, increasing its defence by making it less appealing as a, a meal. And that one just lived in the forest floor running around leaf litter. Russell's research has involved painstakingly going through each slice of the fossil image to render legs, body and appendages separately. These creatures were found on the supercontinent Pangaea, which later split to form North America and Europe. In this equatorial land you had the first true rainforest ecosystems. So it was in these, the, these ecosystems that the uh, Trucantabes, these spider-like relatives, lived in the leaf litter there. And so this can work can tell us if we can uh, scan both these and the other creatures of the period, how everything was living at the time. We can tell us a lot about how arthropods, these types of animals evolved, creepy crawly creatures, where they came from and how they interacted with each other 300 million years ago. The team now intends to use the same technique to investigate other fossils and provide a clearer picture of how extinct species survived on early Earth. You find, I've seen some tracks in Scotland where you see a normal millipede track, which would normally be that, where the things are that far apart. 